Welcome to another video of Impar Labs video tutorials. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about Remote Desktop, which is another feature that comes with Windows XP, XP Professional. And uh, you would be able to, with a Remote Desktop, you would be able to take control over um, any computer that you want to. And uh, it's completely similar to the Remote Desktop that we had in Remote Assistance and actually net meeting but the difference is that when you connect to the other computer with remote desktop um, both users at the same time won't be able to um, view what's going on so um, actually the other user actually when I connect, connect to the other computer with remote desktop the user that is logged on to that computer and machine over there will be completely logged off forced to be logged off and so I could actually um, remotely connect to that computer so only one person in between uh, would be able to um, see the um, see what's going on on the computer and that would be the person that's initiating the connection okay so let's go I've created a list here what we would need to actually connect with a remote desktop connection first of all we would need an IP address it's if it's local or public I would um, we would actually expand that and talk about it later. We would need a user with administrative rights or if we don't have a user password, user and password, user and related password, user and pass of wi which uh, the user has administrative rights or a normal user without administrative rights which has been allowed access to connect remotely. Okay, so first of all let's talk about the IP address and finally we will talk about the users and so on. Okay. I've created another uh, actually table here that um, shows you the way that you can connect to the internet. Um, well, we have here we have um, four type of connections. Um, before that, computers on the left side are the computers that we initiate our connection. Computers that are on the right hand side are the computers that which are we want to connect to remotely computers that we are initiating the connection should be XP Professional or Vista the computers that we are connecting to could be 95, ni Windows 98, 2000 XP Home, XP Professional or Windows Vista okay well the first situation that we have we are both they are two computers connected to the internet what we need is only the IP address the public IP address of this computer and um, that's all we need with the user with administrative rights or the normal user with the access to remote desktop so what we're worried about now is the IP address the, the public IP, IP address of this computer we need it okay to simply be able to remote desktop to this computer through the internet the second one um, where you want to remote desktop to a network okay for instance this is a VPN server for those who know what what we are talking about, what is a VPN server? For the person that wants to connect to a network, would simply connect to a VPN server and simply connect to that computer that he wants to. When you connect to um, the VPN server, actually a tunnel ha would be made here between you and the VPN server. You would be part of um, the network here on the right hand side and finally um, you would be able to remote desktop to that computer with the aid of the IP address the local IP address or either with the name with the aid of um, the name of the computer okay so let's go on to the second one if you're trying to remote desktop to another computer over the same local area network you're both on the same network what you have to do what you need is the local IP address the computer name or and the domain name uh, actually the local IP address or the computer name and the domain name okay so and the fourth one which if you're on a local um, which uh, you're on a work group you would definitely need um, the local IP address and the work group name okay so um, that's about it so first of all again let's um, repeat this if you're only two computers connecting to each other you only need the public IP address of this computer if you're a user connecting to a uh, organization and connected through a VPN server you would need the I public IP address of the VPN server with the user and so on 
if you're connecting to another computer over the LAN network the only thing you would need is the local IP address or the computer name and the domain name what you would need if you're on a work group is the local IP address or the computer name okay so that's about it and let's close this and let's go and talk about the users okay first of all as I said we need a user with administrative rights or either a user a normal user that has been added to the um, remote desktop users access list okay let's go to client 2 client 1 is the co uh, computer that I'm going to be initiating the connection client 2 which it's here right now it's the computer that I'm going to be connecting to so the computer that we're going to be connecting to we need a user from this computer let's go to control panel and let's go to users user accounts here we have Jane she's a computer administrator but what if we have what if we had another user for example Mike and he wasn't a computer administrator he was a limited and normal user okay so things change um, so keep in mind Mike is a limit has a no is a normal user Jane is a computer administrator now let's go to see how we allow access to them let's go to start my computer right click on it and finally properties there is a remote tab here as you see here click on it and here you have to have this um, checkbox checked so user would be simply connecting to you okay now here comes the users if the user has administrative rights by simply just checking this box he would be or she would be completely able to connect to your computer but if it's a normal user you have to come here and select and add the normal user to the list so he would be able to connect to that computer as well so I would here I would come here enter Mike and click OK and Mike would be added Mike would be able to connect to this computer as well okay so that's about it let's go and create a connection let's go to client um, okay one other thing um, before we go to client when I create a connection make sure go to Windows firewall go to start control panel on Windows firewall here make sure first of all this don't allow exceptions tab um, checkbox is not checked like this leave it like this go to exceptions tab exceptions tab and see if remote desktop is in your list if it's there okay it's a good thing if it's not simply what you have to do is just go to add programs and find the remote desktop if it's in this list simply add it if not simply just browse for it and add it again okay so uh, Windows firewall firewall will not be would not be blocking your